Hello, I'm Johannes from Avatar, and I'm gonna cook a gnocchi a vicadelli veganese, I guess I would call it. We're making some vegan Italian on the bus today. Ignore the duck. So basically, us cooking on the bus has become a, a form of abuse that's been growing through uh, for every tour. Like the first one, which we found, for the first tour, which found the, found the cheapest mac and cheese packages you could get on at Walmart and stacked the fridge and freezer full of the bus at the time, I <laughs> lived off of that. And now it's just becoming more and more brutal where there's suddenly more and more ingredients in the fridge every time. So step one is trying, I'll try to find my own shit in this mess. Well, actually there's the onion I need it. That's a good start. There's the garlic I need. We're doing well this far. Got to be slightly unorthodox and have uh, what some people, and they're still good, what some people call squash. And that's so stupid, it's zucchini. And uh, I think we're good to go for now. Like step one is chopping a bunch of stuff up. This is the our printing paper, pasta, and and porridge drawer. Naturally, and this is gnocchi. I don't know how you, I don't know how to pronounce it in any language. Actually, now the word I use fricadelli is for some pretentious vegan way of saying meatballs. In the case of how we roll on this bus, it's meatless meatballs. And I don't have to make, I don't know how to make it from scratch, so it'll be ready made. Then we start chopping shit up. Put it in half. Peel this little baby. And some onions are worse than others with this. I'm sure that someone at home has a, watching this, has a good trick for getting when you just want the other most, most layer away. So, you know, that's how mama showed me. Try to avoid cutting our fingers. Since so many of us are vegan, you know, and they don't want blood in the food. So, oh, this, this could have gone much worse. The camera is making me better. I believe in you. Okay, here comes a trick from this. Tip it over. Uh huh. Another trick. And then what I will say here at the end, I reach a point where, you know, with its tiniest less. Ah, nah, 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 it's close enough. So there will be two or three slightly bigger chunks in there. And again, we're making quite a bit of food, so I'm gonna. Two or three, come on, let's do three. It's Saturday, let's go crazy. I don't mince them, I don't crush them, I make them in thin slices. This just feels like the right thing to do. We use a lot of oil, olive oil on this, uh, on, on this tour, also because I also use, me and Hendrik also use it for our hair on stage. <laughs> so this is find your finest hair product and uh, put a little bit in the skillet. And this is basically what changed our lives. Like before we got this, we were excellent microwave cooks. It was very early 80s. Uh, but now instead, uh, this is a skillet you just plug straight into the wall and therefore very easily can make a bunch of stuff. So, you know, just in there with oil. And the zucchini. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> just make sure to show the pretty sides up. It's been bouncing around a bit in the, while traveling. Uh, since, since this will be with Noki and with uh, meet the ball, uh, we will, uh, I will do it in slightly big chunks. It makes sense with the rest that you have there, you know? And then they start being really soft and not transparent and, you know, 
until they're almost swimming around in their own liquid mixed with oil. This is a delicious thing on any, with anything, almost, and everything. You can do the same with paprika and a whole bunch of stuff. Basically, most vegetables, most food in the world turns into a delicacy if you let it swim in olive oil and garlic for an undisclosed amount of time. So we'll fuck with the skillet by these things come in pretty early anyway, because they're frozen. Again, you make do with what you have, because if I microwave them now, while doing this, it's bye-bye power, and then this will be a bus repairing show instead of a cooking show. We get these babies in. And this is not supposed to be down in the skillet. I want to put some salt on the fresh veggies part of it. Running dangerous with all salt. There we go. And here is our DVD and cans uh, drawer, naturally. And you have fancy J's and my name on those that are mine. That we cook for each other all the time, so it's not such a, you know, we share all the time. But sometimes you have a specific vision for it. And therefore you need to protect, you need to protect your tomato sauce with your signature. Yeah, here's our rum, peanut butter, sugar and seasonings cabinet. They didn't have fresh ones last time now, but uh, this is okay. You say basil in this country. I say basil. Because we learn English from multiple sources when you're in a non like when it's your second language. To prepare this, to have something to do. Like otherwise, this is catching re-watching the umteen season of South Park time also. Because here you just have to move stuff around a little bit right now. And this is now how we cook the knock. The G N sound in Italian is, is hard. Gnocchi. But it sounds like you start the, the word talking like baby talk. Gnocchi. It's fucking stupid. The cans. Of course you go for the camo can opener when you have a choice. So everybody knows you're a man. You're a manly camo opener. Actually, if I would have been a real man, I would have used my teeth. So anyway, we pour in the tomato sauce. So really give the tomato sauce time to get all those flavors out. But if you ever had an actual Italian, Italian, Italian cook you one of those things, or Italian things, it, you will have that moment of how, 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 I, I did this at home yesterday. How did you, why does it taste like Italy when you do it? We're in Denmark. How can you make it taste like Italy? One thing is like, yeah, less is more, lots of time, and with that water, what basically, is it called reduction cooking? You know, like how you would make a sauce and uh, just add the water until, you know, when a tomato sauce is done, the way it boils is kind of like, I don't know, some weird muddy swamp hole in a dinosaur movie. But you want, before it reaches that point, it should, you know, boil more conventional, conventional. There, I should, should eat it. <laughs> a bit of basil. Yeah, like that, so what else we do? 
so you know, it's also a question of know your audience. Most of us are quite a bit are quite the over seasoners. Uh -huh. So there's, you know, uh, the way you're supposed to make things. And then the way we make things, but since in front of the camera, I won't go too crazy with the pepper either. It doesn't really need pepper. We just really like black pepper. Tomato sauce. It's also supposedly totally, totally Italian. The sugar. Not American amounts. It's a chemistry thing I don't understand, but eh. there we go. That's enough. Well, we see that around for a bit, and now you see the tomato sauce is really, really thin because of the water. And once it starts to look thicker, we have a tomato sauce. We will wait for this to boil and reduce a bit. And because th that's a good thing with gnocchi, since that is like two, three minutes of boiling, I don't, I, according to me, it's not the same cardinal sin to boil that in the sauce as it is to do the pasta and the sauce. Ignore the duck. I put this on maximum heat. Now I uh, miss my in induction stuff at home. I'll see if I can give this a taste. Since I'm making this for my crew and we live in each other's bacteria uh, all the time, I might end up double dipping. That's good for you. Now let's see how it's bubbled. So it has become a bit thicker. So I guess we do it like this. Come on, baby. Spread it out evenly. My fiance will be watching this, and I know I should have bowled him on this side if I could have. I just want her to know that I know what I'm doing. You know, that's wrong. But it's like, again, like if in those movies when someone is giving birth out on a battlefield somewhere and you have to use horse tranquilizer or whatever. Uh, it's one of those things, you know. Army surgery and uh, tour bus cooking. And there we go. And now, because it is the kind of stuff that it is. I'm going to double dip now. Watch me. Ha! Awful! Now it's good. Put just a little so it looks it looks cuter. No, actually, it's running away to the other side. So, I'm Johannes from Avatar. I want to thank you for watching me cook and hopefully not a, not make a mess of myself. We are. We're on tour right now for just one more week in the States, but we'll be back in July. We're working on the fall and all that, so we'll see you soon. And you need to just follow us. Follow me on Twitter. I think it's like Johannes underscore avatar, probably. You'll find me. And uh, other than that, yeah, the latest album from one year ago is uh, Feathers and Flesh. The new single, new music video is, dang it. ah, New Land. You should watch that. It's really good, almost as, Good as my gnocchi.